Hi everyone, I'm Ruby from the Youthful Journal. I don't normally do this, but this year I decided to drop my Instagram and I'm going to start just doing a monthly overview of what I've done in my journal. This month my inspiration was Where's Wally? So I decided I didn't really need this book in my bookcase anymore because my nieces and nephews have grown up and I don't have children and I thought about giving the book away but then I thought oh this would be such a great theme if you're at all familiar with Where's Wally you'll know that there's spread like pages in the book and they've got all different themes and the idea is that you have to find Wally but you also have to find Wally's associates who include these guys. So you search for them, you search for their possession which might be a scroll or a key and I thought what fun I'm going to put this in my journal for January and then I can keep on looking at it again and again and keep finding new things because it's a bit sacrilegious I know for cutting up a book but I did cut up two pages in my Where's Wally book which actually of course ended up being four because of the backsides. Um, yeah I've cut them up and put them into my January journal so here it is. So here's my Nuna journal which is from Germany um, which is the journal I'm going to be using in 2023. So if we go straight to January you'll see that I've as I said cut out part of the page of the Where's Wally book to fit my my book and I didn't lose any detail in that double page spread from Where's Wally so here's my Where's Wally book and all I've done is say a spread like this I've divided the page into pieces and then used those pieces throughout my spread so that I didn't lose any piece of the page because then I might not ever be able to find something that I'm meant to be looking for. Um, also I cut out in the back they have guides as to what else you might find on a particular spread and this one related to my spread so I cut that out so that's what I've done with Where's Wally and these are the special things I had to look for and yeah I chose I wanted a big bold letter but I didn't want it to be too colorful but I did want it to have some colors to match the Where's Wally pages and then these little figures I've put throughout and they reminded me of the Where's Wally characters so I've put them throughout just to lift my spreads a little bit and on here this is the extra things you can look for in addition to Wally and the wizard and they're all a play on words so it says to look for serving an ace and here you can see that someone is serving the ace a drink so I love that and there's so many more plays on words than is listed here so it's just a bit of fun and it means every time I open my journal I can look at the page and go oh oh look there's something I haven't seen before so I love it um, yeah so I've just done a very simple spread to go with it that used a washi tape I had it's um, three millimeters wide which actually works perfectly with this journal which is a 3.5 millimeter grid it's a something distinctive about Nuna journals is that they have a much smaller grid and that's something I had to adjust as well um, you'll see on my first page here this is where I started writing and I wrote with a medium nib fountain pen and realized very quickly that that was making my writing too big for the lines and so I had to switch to a fine medium nib um, I'm using my sailor fountain pen and yeah so I had to just work out a solution so it looks like this here I'll be using my fine nibs more than my medium nibs which is fine they work fine on this paper um, for my journaling the three things I'm doing there's a guy on YouTube called Struthless he's got a, an amazing page I'll put a link I'll put a link up here on on my video um, but he just has some really good tips about how to deal with life and a lot of tips about journaling 
and so he had this great suggestion that when you're daily journaling to kind of prompt you on what to write you write about what excited me what drained me of energy and what did I learn and so every day I've been doing that and there might be more than one point for each but yeah I'm writing what excited me what drained me of energy and what did I learn and his point was that you very quickly see that the similar things cropping up that are the things that drain you of energy and it gives you a kind of a focus for where you might take action in your life and so yeah that's what I'm doing this month they're my prompts this month I've got a little space for tasks to add there um, but it is quite journaling focused this month um, which is fine I've got space um, like I can show events in my future log I still have my water tracker I still have my exercise tracker um, and yeah that's pretty much how my spreads are going just using those uh, little figures I've cut out my lettering and the washi tape here's a double page spread so quite simple layout and then with the pictures what I'm doing is when I find something you can probably barely see that but I can feel it there's a little colored dot so this was pear skating and I put a little dot there in just a washi sticker just to help me find it so I don't have to keep looking for it again although I could and then what I'm going to do is when I've found all the things in the list and when I've found Wally and the wizard etc etc then I am, oh there's Wally, so look there you go, Wally is there. So when I've finished those, what I'm going to do is just write a list of extra little things I've found, which are kind of a play on words, because I thought that would be fun, because uh, there's definitely a, a few. So yeah, that's what I'm doing for January. I hope it's inspired you to do something similar. See you later.